what is a cloud computing cloud computing is i'm just summarizing all what is cloud computing cloud computing is computing which is done in internet not on your on premise so computing which is done on internet we can we don't have to uh, in this case we don't have to uh, purchase any hardware software os and anything so it will available as a services to us which we can subscribe and we can use it that is cloud computing what is virtualization now people are without uh, virtualization you won't be understanding key what is exactly cloud services virtualization is a basically uh, virtualizing uh, physical into virtual machine or uh, what we can call it as virtualization is a basically what we can call it as a machine machine on which we can run uh, different type of os and application right normally what is happening we are clouds are transparent to users and application they can build in a multiple way bounded products in this saas is a model of software deployment where an application is hosted on as a service provided to the customer on internet what is virtualization abstraction abstraction of an execution environment that can be made dynamically available to authorized clients by using well defined protocols resource quota example cpu memory share software configuration okay so implementation is a basically uh, it's a virtualization is basically abstraction of a physical host machine so hypervisor interrupts and emulate instruction from vm and allows management of vms vmware xgen hyper v these are the things so it's a virtual form of this thing now in a virtualization what happens virtualization is a meaning that on a one particular hyper v or you can say vmware gen and all this thing this is a operating system when a small application running on bare base battle machine this actually isolates your machines normally what happens in a, without virtualization you want to run an application you need a hardware first compatible hardware then you need a compatible operating system and then you need a compatible application on that so the application which is written it will only work on this particular hardware and particular os and then particular this thing so it was depending so dependent on each other so this dependency is removed by microsoft in a hyper v using microsoft used a hyper v so they have used this now this hyper v is allowing you to run on a single hardware multiple operating system with multiple application and for example i mean if you have a hyper v machine you can install mac operating system on that in a guest operating system i mean in a virtual machine you can have virtual machine with mac operating system linux operating system and windows operating system so all these three operating systems are there on which you can run their own respective application and it is now it is uh, what is the advantage that happens uh, happening is the now on a single hardware there is no need of running the application on uh, hardware dependency and os dependency is removed actually so what you are getting is basically your application directly on this you are running so i mean as a developer you don't need to write an application for each and every hardware each and every operating system you just write an application which you can just port it on these platform i mean you can port it on this os actually i mean linux based os so linux based application will run on that and unix based i mean windows mac based application will run on application this thing so this is one of the virtual machine the virtual machines are nothing but these are not having hardware these are sharing the resources of physical machine like cpu memory storage so these are sharing the machines these are sharing the application uh, hardware resources and you are creating a virtual machine this is the basically virtual machine